Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to reset any Windows password for free. We've got a Windows 11 system here and you can see you put the password in and it won't uh, let you log in because it's incorrect. You may have forgotten this password and you can reset it. I'm going to show you how to do it. There's no need to change any sort of system files on the operating system or any of that sort of risky stuff. All you need to do is head over to this website. I'll leave the link in the video description. And you can download this software to create a bootable USB flash drive, which is going to help you reset your password really easy. Now you can use this software for free if you're a Windows Home user. If you're a business, you're going to have to buy the business version there, which is about $27. But for home users, you can use it for free. Remember, this will only reset the Windows password on your local account. If you are logged into Microsoft as a Microsoft account, this will not reset your Microsoft account password. That is a different method altogether. So let's go ahead and get this installed on a working PC. So you will need a second PC to get this bootable USB flash drive working. So we're going to install this on a workable PC. And then once we get this installed, we can build our USB flash drive with this piece of software on there so we can actually reset our password here. So let's launch the software now. And again, there's no complicated process here. It's really simple. All you need to do is put your USB flash drive into the computer and click on uh, that USB flash drive icon there, the big green uh, box there. I'll show you how to do it. It's really simple and easy to do. So let's go up there. This is the one we're going to be using for our uh, password reset. It's built into the actual software. So click on this big icon here and it will open up this box. It's going to say same as this computer. This is because I'm on a Windows 11 computer. It only goes up to Windows 10 64 bit, but this will work on every version of Windows from XP all the way up to Windows 11. So what we're going to do is save this and you can see here it's got the Win PE options available here and a bunch of other stuff, but we're just going to keep this simple and click next. Now we're going to use our USB flash drive. You can download the ISO image and you can also use a CD or DVD ROM drive if you want. So take note of the letter which you want to use as your drive. Mine is E, so I'm going to click start and this will prepare our drive so we can build our WinPE on here. It's going to ask us, do we need to format the drive? I'm going to say yes here and it will format the drive for us. So any data on that drive will be erased. So if you've got data on that drive, make sure you back it up before you continue. Click next and then we can now click on finish because we've finished the process it's pretty quick. I'm going to click finish here and we can close this software off and we can take this over to the computer which has a password on it which we can't get into. So let's go ahead and boot up to our computer. We're going to go into our BIOS and we're going to make sure that we've got this as our main boot drive. So you need to drag along here the USB flash drive to the front of the boot order here. You can move it back afterwards. Now, if you've got a direct boot order uh, key, which is mine is F5, I can push F5 and I don't have to do that part. And it will take me to this screen where we can now boot to our live CD. This will load up, it takes a, a little bit of time. It's not that long, so be patient. And then it load up. Once this loads up, it's gonna give us access to that tool, which we can use to reset our password. I'm just going to let this load in. Now your loading screen may look slightly different because you may have a different computer to me. You'll see a black prompt box popping up here and then you will see this screen here. This is our live uh, CD environment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to reset our password. So you can go down to this little green icon here or you can click on that icon on the desktop and you should now see where it says reset Windows password in the drop down here. So that's what we need to do. We're going to go next here. It's going to say that are you sure that you are using this as a home user and you're not for commercial use? So I'm going to say yes here because that's exactly what we're doing. We're a home user and we're going to reset our local password. So let's uh, do this one here. Go next down the bottom. You can see I'm using Windows 11 64 bit here. So this does work on all versions of Windows. So click on next here. And this is where we're going to be looking for our user account. So if your user account is called whatever it is, it will be listed here. My user account is called change me and I am going to use that account to reset. So click on next. 
Once I highlight it, and you'll see this window here. The big blue circle here, which I'm highlighting in red, will be reset and unlock. Click on that, and then basically once you've done this, it says the password reset successfully. So that's it. We have now reset our password. We can now click finish. And what we can do is close off this application, and then we can shut down the computer and then boot up as normal once we remove our USB flash drive. If you've changed the boot order in the BIOS, you will need to put that back and make your hard drive the first boot priority drive, and then it should boot to Windows. So let's go ahead and boot up to our Windows system, and this will reset our password and leave it blank, so it just logs straight in. And you can add in a new password uh, once you get back to the desktop if you want to. So sign in, and there we go. We're back at the desktop, and that password has been removed. You can now go to your accounts and basically create a new password if you want to, and that's basically how you can bypass or remove any sort of uh, password that you've forgotten on your Windows 11 system. Now, do remember, this is for a local account. As you can see here, I'm signed in as a local account. This is not a Microsoft account. If you have a Microsoft account, you will need to go through a different process to reset that. You have to go over to the Microsoft uh, website and basically reset your password that way. It will not work on a Microsoft account system anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video hope this one's been some sort of use to you so this piece of software still works all the way up to windows 11 from windows xp my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i'll leave all the links in the video description big shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i appreciate your support and your names are rolling up on the screen thanks again bye for now